Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This ought to be a treat. This is a big one there. This is definitely a sipper instead of a chugger. This is Green Flash's Green Bullet, which is a triple IPA. Uh, this comes in at a whopping, I think it's 10.1% 10, 10 here on the bottle. And it says Best Buy 03-1115. So we're well within that. And uh, they use New Zealand dry hop. That's what it says here on, on the bottle. So, uh, with the aim of finding new and unique ingredients, we honed in on New Zealand grown Pacific Gem and Green Bullet hops to create this adventurous triple IPA. Green Bullet leaps onto your palate with bold spicy pine and citrus flavors including tropical notes of mango and pineapple. The aggressive yet well-balanced finish will stun the senses of even the most skilled hop hunter. Well, I'm ready for that. Bring it on. <laughs> uh, this ought to be really good. I'm really a big fan of, uh, of uh, what the Green Flash Brewery does. Very West Coast style, if you will. A lot of big hop flavors in their, in their beers. So... Uh, and they're, and they're dating most of their stuff. The last one I did didn't have a date on it, but this one does. Uh, it's got it right on this side. They even got a place on the other side of the label that says Best Buy. And it doesn't have anything written on it. But uh, they, are, they are dating the stuff. Most of them anyway. So like I said, the last one I had from them didn't have it on there. And I looked pretty close and intently. And, and I've had other guys say, well, I, mine's got it on there. Maybe they missed that one. So. But they got it on this one. So let's get on with this one. Commercial description, it says a full body, uh, basically the same, it says the same thing. Uh, full body triple IPA green bullet combines New Zealand grown Pacific gem and green bullet hops, significant pine, citrus hoppiness hit the palate, first sip accentuated by tropical nuts of mango and pineapple, ending with a moderately aggressive bitter finish. And it doesn't have the IBUs listed here, but what I've read, it's around 100 IBUs on this beer. So a lot of bitterness uh, and, and for a 10% 10, 10 beer, uh, it should have a lot of sweetness, a lot of malt uh, used in, in making a beer of, the, of this uh, magnitude. So, uh, food pairings for this beer says Cuisine is barbecue, cheese of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, you more pungent cheeses, and the meat is game grilled meat and salmon. Glassware snifter, tulip, bubble size wine glass. I got the double glass today. And it says can be sellable for a long period under proper conditions. I would disagree with that wholeheartedly. If you're drinking an IPA and you sell her that, the hops are going to fade. They are going to fade. Even if it's a triple, at 10%, the beer is going to keep, this beer will probably keep 10 years or more. But it's going to turn into a malt bomb if you don't drink it uh, within the first couple of months of it's been put in a bottle. So, And I have sold them before, and I'm just not a big fan of that. I mean, even if it's a super boozy beer, uh, you're, going to, you're going to lose that hot profile. It's going to taste completely different six months uh, after it was put in a bottle than it does fresh. Uh, it will, trust me. All right, let's get on with this one. I uh, don't think there's anything else I need to talk about, so I'm going to stop talking. To start pouring into the glass, we go. Let's see, ten percent. Let's see if we can get ahead on it. Super aggressive pour on that gives us about a finger and a half of head. Not sure it's going to stick around very long though, but it looks really good in the glass, don't you think? Over into the light. 
it's pretty clear. I can see the bulb right through it. A little bubble streaming up. Not a super amount, but I can tell that uh, it's a nicely carbonated beer. And already down to about a finger of head, so it's dissipating very quickly. Time to get the nose on it. Around we go. And even, and even now, I'm getting a big maltiness to this beer. And we're well within the date. I mean, here we're in December, and it says Best Buy March of uh, 2015. So we're set, we're definitely into uh, the good shop life. And it doesn't say when it was bottled, but it just says Best Buy March 11th of 2015. We'd like to have the bottling date instead of the Best Buy date. I'll uh, I'll make that decision when it's Best Buy. Tell me when you put it in the freaking bottle, and, and I'll make that decision of how long I want to keep it in the refrigerator. Or if I want to buy it uh, after it's set on the shelf for two or three or six months. So, rather have the bottle on date than the enjoy by date, because a lot of times these brewers will put an exaggerated brew, I mean, exaggerated shelf life on some of this stuff. I mean, some of them will say it's good for three months, and some of them will say it's good for six months. Uh, and I'd rather, and I, and I want to know that as a consumer, I, I just assume know when it was put in the bottle rather than when they say you should have it by. Just my opinion, but uh, I'll make the decision when I want to have it by. You tell me when it was put in the freaking bottle. That's that's a better deal all around, I think. Just my opinion. It's got a big maltiness. I mean, it really does. They, they, and they have to use quite a bit of uh, 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 barley to brew a beer of a 10 percenter in an IPA. It almost gets to the barley wine stage. And this one does have a big maltiness to the, to the backbone. I'm not super impressed with the amount of hop uh, punginess in the nose on this. It does have a nice citrusy uh, uh, floral nose on it, but it's not an up-in-your-face West Coast style, knock-your-head-off hot presence. I'm getting a little bit of toffee and caramel in there too. I'm getting more maltiness than hoppiness, and I don't like that in an IPA. Well, let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Well made beer, a nice balance between the malt and the hops on the taste, but it is not an upfront, in your face, West Coast style IPA. Uh, I don't know when it was bottled and what they consider their shop like this. If it's six months, that's too long in my opinion. That ought to be three months on an IPA, not six months on the IPA. That's why I'd rather have the bottled on date instead of the best by date. Let me make that decision. Not you. A little bit of tropical fruit notes, maybe some mango in there. Definitely getting some pine, but the maltiness is already starting to take over this beer, in my opinion. I mean, to me, that's going to be accentuated by the amount of alcohol in this beer. Being a 10 percenter, so much grain is used in producing a beer of this magnitude that, that, that that's going to actually take over quicker, in my opinion, than just a, a regular IPA or even a double IPA. You know, A regular IPA being between 4 and 7 percent and a double being between 8 or 9 and a triple being 10 percent and above. The more grain is in there, to me, the faster it's going to take over and overpower them hops in the bottle. So, uh, in, a, in a triple IPA, I would like to get that within 30 days. 60 days at the max. 90 days is going to be too much. To me, to me, in my opinion, the malt is already going to start taking over that hop profile. And like I said, by March, you're not going to be able to taste any hops in this beer. I mean, it's just going to be a malt bomb. It really is. And it's already started to happen, in my opinion. It's a good beer, don't get me wrong. Great lacing on there. Nice taste. Very easy drinking for a 10 percenter. 
There is a slight alcohol, but it is nowhere near what you would think a 10%er would taste like. I've had 8%ers taste more boozy than this. So it is a well-made beer, but there is a but. But not having the bottle on date and an enjoy by date. If this was put into the bottle in September or October and they're saying it's good until March or Best Buy in March, I would much rather have had this beer in September or October than December or January or even February or March. I mean, the longer each month it sets in that bottle, the more maltier taste it's going to have and the less hot profile it's going to have. So. That's, that's it. That's, that's, that's all of it in a nutshell right there. So that's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Uh, let me take it back and let her sip on a couple sips of it. And I'm going to sip on for a little while because this is a sipper and not a chugger. And we'll come back and do the final grade and chug on this one. But uh, rather have that bottle on date than the best by date. Uh, let me make the decision how long I want to keep it in the fridge. Right? All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got just a little left now. I've uh, been sipping on it probably about. 35, 45 minutes or so. Took it back to her and she tasted the grapefruit immediately. Uh, now that it's warmed up a little bit, I'm tasting the grapefruit too. So maybe I do need to get her on camera. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, then that may happen. Uh, we may, we may see her show up on a beer review or two next year. So let's see how that goes. She's, uh, kind of camera shy. So, uh, we might, we, we, we might try to get her in here for too long. This is a good beer. It really is a well-made beer. But like I said earlier, uh, I'd rather see a bottle on date and, and instead of a, an enjoy by or best by date on the bottle. Because different uh, brewers have different shelf lives that they think it should it should have. So, And I just assume to have my beers. Best by date doesn't tell me how old the beer is or how long it's been in the bottle. So that's my only beef with this beer is uh, they're telling you when to have it by instead of when it was put in the bottle by. That doesn't tell me how old the beer is. So. With that being said, let's do the final chug on this one. Very smooth drinking beer for 10.1%. I'll use that 100 very balanced. I mean, it does have some bitterness on the back end, but it does have a nice sweet maltiness to it and, and, and a little over malty at this stage of the beer, in my opinion. But it does balance out pretty well, but I would just as soon have this as fresh as possible. And I can get these. I bought this beer at the, at the beer store here in, in Roanoke, the new beer store. Uh, so uh, I'd rather have that information instead of what they think the best by date is. So uh, with that being said, uh, it's very nice. Grapefruit, uh, a little bit of pineapple, very citrusy, uh, a little bit of orange and mango in there. But now that it's been in a bottle for several months, I'm sure, uh, the, the maltiness is, 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 is coming up a little bit more and more. And, and the longer it's in it by March, this is going to be, in my opinion, really malty. So uh, I just as soon have the best buy, I mean the uh, bottle on date and sort of the best buy date uh, on these on these beers. Even though it's a ten percent, that's not going to go bad. Like I said, this beer, if you put it in the fridge and forgot you had it in there, five years down the road, it's still going to be uh, drinkable. Even ten years down the road, it's still going to be drinkable. But it's going to be a malt freaking bomb at that time. So the hops are going to fade. They, they, they are. They're, they're going to fade very quickly after about the third or fourth month. So uh, uh, it's a nice. I enjoyed it. So uh, glad I got to try this one. Uh, this is the Green Flash Green Bullet Triple IPA at 10.1%. Very tasty beer. I mean it is. It, it's a well-made beer. It deserves a good grade. Uh, I do think it's an A beer but since I don't know how old it's, it is and how long it's been in this bottle, it's still decent and worth picking up. But uh, just be aware, the longer it sits in that bottle, the more maltier it's going to taste so, uh, and the less hot profile it's going to have. And Green Flash is known for an outstanding West Coast style beers. And uh, it's a little lackluster to me on that right now at this stage of the game and at this stage of uh, how long it's been in the bottle which I do not know. So uh, if they've got a six month shelf life on it, it's been in the bottle almost three months. So uh, I'd much rather have something like this 
within 30 to uh, 45, 60 days at the most instead of 90 days. So uh, that's my opinion, just my opinion. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, that's my soapbox to stand on, and I stand on it proudly. Uh, I like my IPAs as fresh as possible. It's, 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 it's just me. It's my OCD. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to give it to 8, which is an A-. minus. I do think it's an A beer, and it may be even a 9 or a 10 if I can get one fresher than what this one is. If I picked this up and, and, and the uh, best by date was six months out, uh, I pretty much know that it was really fresh. But still then, you, you don't know without the bottled on date. So that's where I'm going to leave that on this one. Uh, let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 89 in a very good range, which is decent numbers, but not into the A category as far as I'm concerned. That's a B-plus number to me. And over to... Uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall 98 and 92 in the style, which are both great numbers there. Both uh, The 92 in the style is an A minus number, which is where I'm putting, and 98 is a 9. So uh, depending on how fresh the bottle is that you get may determine how much hot profile you get out of the beer. So, and with this one, uh, Best Buy March, I'm, I'm thinking they got a six month shelf life on this. I may be wrong, but that's just my guess. That uh, this was done three months ago, so uh, and I'm sure it would have probably been a lot tastier to me three months ago than it is right now. I mean, it's about halfway through its shelf life, as far as I'm concerned. By March, this is this will be a moth bomb to me. So, with that being said, uh, that's the ratings, and that's what I'm going to give it at the eight, which is the A minus. It is an A beer. So uh, let me know if you've had this one, and uh, we're gonna. Take a look in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe we'll we'll drink something a little darker. It's pretty chilly outside, down in the twenties, so might bring out a stout or a porter or something. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's about that time. See you tomorrow. Hope you got time to join us.